والله يدعو إلى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء إلى صراط مستقيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Brothers and Sisters uh, Welcome back uh, to our program The Calligrapher uh, We started uh, before uh, Taliq or Nas Taliq or Farisi as you like to say uh, We started uh, the alphabet uh, We showed how to, to start with the thick or thin or third one third or two thirds or the full thickness of our pen uh, I think that uh, we can start easily uh, the alphabet uh, after the, uh, the the writing the alphabetical uh, letters we would like to say a little bit uh, short sentences and more and more so uh, we would like also to show you some of our uh, uh, professors uh, work before uh, uh, maybe uh, 250 years back uh, they did something like this ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه so uh, we can see how the concentration لا ريب فيه yeah how the concentration of yeah. uh, the pen see the movement of the pen with yeah, the ink yes. uh, even the kashida yes, yes correct see long. the kashida of kaf yeah, very start long. from uh, here and go down you see yes and again he put ba of la rayba here so how the the nice work they have done yes, yes. the original of this piece was uh, 150 centimeters by uh, 90 centimeters approximately near to be one meter by one and a half meters so they would have very a measurement at that time? Yeah, they have, they have special uh, tools to write uh, this kind of, using the ink also. Yes. Yeah, even uh, this man, uh, according to my knowledge, he's preparing his uh, uh, own ink by himself. How do you mix, uh, fr from the, co the color here is dark and uh, sometimes it goes to be light? How do you yeah, do actually the grates, it's called grates of, uh, of the ink. Uh, this kind of, uh, of ink, because he uh, used the kashida, yes. so uh, he used one time and uh, a quick way. He's not using in, uh, like uh, other styles of uh, diwani or rika. So it's not S slowly, slowly, no, he's using using very fast. Uh, I yeah. thought that you were using two different colors. <laughs> no, actually, it's, uh, it's, color, only, it's only one color, one but color? Uh, with the, the, the quick way of writing Kashida, so he's starting once. So it gives the very, very nice grades. Uh, even uh, in the competitions, uh, we have to put special marks for uh, the grades of your pen, because it shows that you didn't uh, copy from anywhere and fill with the brush yes. or you get by uh, any other way like uh, a computer Good. or uh, yeah. scan or you paste or cut and paste or whatever the, the way but uh, this way I think it can show you very clear how the grades of the pen yeah. yes. and how it looks very very nice also of course yeah. and a harmony wonderful yeah uh, here another uh, very nice piece Wallahu yahdi man yasha'u ila siratin mustaqim The Quran verse Wallahu yahdi man yasha'u ila siratin mustaqim God uh, is uh, guide uh, whomever to the uh, right way Right way Yeah You see ra ya the return, yeah, I yeah was asking, uh, as we say, yeah, you can, you can uh, extend, yeah, there, especially the return, yeah, yes. from here to there, mm, maybe 11 or 12 or 13 dots. Uh, you see here, seen, mustaqim, straight. Yes. I mean, mustaqim means straight. Yes. You see, you see seen, it makes very, very nice harmony with the return, yeah. And with the Yahdi, Yahdi yes. or Ha, so uh, also he did Ha 
as we did here in the middle. Yes. You see the, uh, the also the harmony uh, with this curves, noon or ya, yeah, also it's same. Yeah. No difference in the measurements. It looks very nice. We see also the grades of uh, ink from here to, to uh, from dark to the light, yeah. or from here dark to light. And I want to ask, doctor, if the uh, about the cal uh, illumination or the zakhrafa yeah. is uh, Farsi style. They have uh, uh, it has uh, its own uh, zakhrafa, or the zakhrafa is can use for any other styles. Yes, um, this question um, uh, is also it's important because uh, you have seen here the illumination. Yeah. Uh, or tadhib, they call tadhib. Tadhib comes from dhahab, means gold. Okay. So uh, the illumination means uh, uh, the interior, uh, the I mean the decoration yeah. of uh, any calligraphy uh, piece. So the illumination here uh, in the first piece, we can see the uh, Persian. It is Persian. Yeah, it's Persian style. Okay. So it's Persian style. There are so many uh, different styles in uh, in illumination. There are Turkish style, there are Arabic style, okay. there are Islamic style. So even all of them are Islamic, but uh, the Can Islamic uh, yeah, has divide. a special own uh, units. To um, uh, some of them has, has been taken from the planet. Okay. Uh, by the way, I have uh, one piece of. Uh, uh, of my students work I was uh, teaching uh, them wow. uh, some like this is this uh, Persian uh, or Turkish or no this is Turkish style Turkish, okay. this Turkish okay. style yeah so even the color also is little bit different yes yeah they are using so you can copy Quran uh, in this area yeah we can we can do it like this mm -hmm. and we can write I see mm -hmm. you see even the the blue here Blue is a special kind of uh, powder they are using for illumination. Uh, the gold also they are using the real gold. Real gold. And uh, the borders here they are using special kind of flowers. Yes. So each place according to their uh, country, according to their uh, uh, environment. Oh, okay. uh, some places they are using special kind of planet. Yes. Yeah. Also depends on the earth they live or the place they live or their environment generally yes, <coughs> excuse me uh, there also uh, another ويزكيهم ويعلمهم الكتابة والحكمة you see تعليق here yeah. the hanging <laughs> yes. we can see yeah. the hanging very clear very here. very clear yes. here and uh, and this uh, panel just uh, uh, right in one area I have seen uh, this uh, masterpieces uh, in the exhibition I was so Astonished when I see the big size written uh, by hand 150 years back. It was so surprised, really. Mm -hmm. uh, you see the the kashida here. You zakihim. Yes. You alimhum. And everything comes in a straight way with a very very nice shape. You see the difference, the spaces between you alimhum al kitab al hikma. You see. Uh, one, two, yeah. three spaces. It's um, uh, you. We see here also al hikma, kaf, lam of mim. Here al hikma. Here we can see lam mim, and the other mim. You see how it's kaf of al hikma matching the kaf of al kitab. Oh, al kitab. Yes. Same it comes, Yeah, it comes straight, straight, a vertical and uh, horizontal with a very, very nice way. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes the calligrapher can create his uh, uh, dots, where he can put his dots. Okay. You see Al-Kitab here, he put two dots up. Yes. And يزكيهم ويعلمهم يا of يعلمهم he put it down here. Oh. Yes. ويزكيهم Yeah. Yes. Zay, one dot of Zay, yeah. it's up here. Just he's wow. playing with the letter with a very, very <laughs> intelligent okay. way, it is okay. with that a very nice that way. That uh, in the bottom. Yeah. For, for, uh, in between two dots. Yes. It's just only a hint. Um. It's a hint only, something to give something. So it is okay, know. Doctor, to put anywhere you want the dots? Yeah, in Pharisee you can put. 
But okay. uh, it doesn't change the meaning. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes if you change, if you remove uh, these two dots from here and move, sorry, or shift to another place, it gives another meaning. So you have to put uh, your dots according to the meaning also. It helps. So if you, if you want to copy a uh, Quran uh, using uh, this kind of style, so Taliq, you mean? Yeah. No, we can put, uh, if you are writing the, the Holy Quran, yeah. it should be in lines. It shouldn't be uh, in Taliq or uh, shapes. Yes. But if you are writing a Quran verse, only one verse or Hadith yeah. or whatever, you can do whatever you like in a circle shape or ellipse or oval shape or square shape, whatever you like. By Even the way, mm -hmm. uh, the decoration here uh, it should be uh, coming matching uh, the same kind of style. It means from the same Islamic era, or I can find uh, decoration coming from related to another Islamic era. It means this no. this kind of style. This of, kind uh, of decoration is uh, uh, Persian. All, all of these styles are uh, Persian. Persian. Yes, the the designer has been done as a Persian style, a Persian uh, environment of the colors also. Yeah. Depends on their colors, I yeah. said. Mm. So, uh, he can use any other style, but uh, because of the Pharisee or Talik, it comes from this area, they have to use their own style of, uh, of uh, illumination. By the way, doctor, if you, if you want to uh, write a Quran, and uh, if I bring uh, one calligrapher, uh, so it will uh, take from him a long time to write uh, Quran. So he should bring another one uh, clever like him to write, or it will be difference when he using uh, handwriting. So I will say, oh, this Quran writing by two uh, guys, not one. Two parts. Two parts. So two I don't know. You should mean. should uh, if we start uh, to write a good thing like that Quran, since it's a blessing uh, job. So. Should I start with myself writing all uh, Holy Quran or bring uh, find another guy to write with me? Actually, uh, when we intend to write the Holy Quran, we have to start with ourselves. For yes. myself, I started uh, writing, alhamdulillah, one full Quran for uh, uh, as a captions. It was uh, prepared for some special purpose. But uh, now I'm, uh, I'm doing for uh, another book, to be a book, to yeah, complete okay. as a book, yeah. not as a captions, yeah. not as a captions. So the preparation was uh, different from one, uh, uh, one style so to another. But uh, whatever we can, we can do only by... Uh, Should be one by one person? By one person. So we can only. find any because difference it needs, between... Because it needs special preparation for this. I can talk to this later. Yeah. Um, uh, once more, uh, the the two guys to write the two Quran, it has been done before, has but the person, before. the first person, has been died. Yeah, oh. yeah, he was um, writing, and uh, after he died, so so the, the other person didn't com continue complete. Mm -hmm. So the people uh, didn't find any difference uh, and say no. This one uh, we noticed that there is some difference here when we start to complete the Quran. So this is the. Uh, Quite enough for uh, talking about this subject. Yeah. We'll talk it okay. uh, later, inshallah. Okay. Uh, brother and sister, we'll see you after the break uh, to talk more and more about the uh, Persian or Pharisee, uh, Taliq or Nastaliq style, inshallah. <laughs> Learning how to recite the Quran properly. Learning the meaning of what we recite. Including the ahkam from the verses which we recite. Trying to implement what we learn in our daily life. We we'll listen to the participants and the guests. We'll take your phone calls. We're going to recite life. We'll listen to your recitation. And we'll correct it according to the rules and regulations which we'll state in each episode. Now, your dream will come true. Will come true. In
Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Brothers and sisters, welcome back uh, to the Farsi style. So we are going uh, now to start on the blackboard. So you please uh, follow me to uh, see how I'm doing the, the thin and thick uh, letters and how I'm moving my pen through the uh, blackboard. So let's go and write some small uh, verse or short sentence on the blackboard. I write here noon. Noon letter. Well, Kalam. See how I'm doing the letters. Somebody will ask, do you miss the Aleph letter? No, I didn't miss, but uh, I'm keeping to keep uh, down of this lamb. See the Qaf, Kashida. This elf of Al Qalam, two dots, Wama, Yastrun. Wow and no. The dot inside. So let's make outline to be more clear. This is noon letter. How I started with the thin and thick with a very very smooth and nice curve by the way uh, the noon letter is a part of lamb if we extend this one to up it will be lamb so it's very simple and very easy qalam wow letter the head of wow with full thickness comes, as we see here. Alif letter. Lam. Thin. Look to this part, please. Kaf thin. I'm making with the two thirds of my pen. The curve. Two dots of cough. The kashida of cough comes straight, long, full thickness. You see here the continuation of Qaf as Kashida. And Mim. It can go down more. 
Blackboard, no problem. It looks nice. Well, Qalam. Wow. With a full thickness also, as I said. The edge comes simple. Head of meme. وما يسترون two dots of ya with a curve طاء like a head of thud or dot the same shape same size same everything and right thin it needs more control movement in my hands with my pen Alif wow the same as before The known as we have done there. Full thickness here. With a dot inside. In the middle of the letter. It doesn't come up. Or it doesn't come here on the corner. So it should be here, exactly in this place. So we can see Noon Wal Qalami Wama Yasturun. How we started with the thin and thick and the full thickness of dot, and how we started here also with lamb thin and cough also thin two thirds of the pen and with the full thickness of my pen here to give a very very nice shape and very nice harmony of thick and thin uh, brothers and sisters uh, see uh, the Farsi or Talik style uh, how it looks uh, very nice and uh, simple also it's uh, more flexible to our hands we can create, we can do a lot of uh, designs, we can uh, do a lot of uh, shapes. Uh, even we can try to write uh, our names or names of our friends also. Uh, so please let's try to uh, get something from this as an idea. And uh, I hope to see you again with uh, more uh, letters and more styles with uh, nice things. Thank you very much. <laughs>